Good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. <clears throat> we are finally going to go ahead and get out of here. I think we've been here long enough. Well, matter of fact, speaking, we've been here now for 12 hours and 45 minutes. And so it is time for us to uh, <clears throat> get out of here, you know. Yes, indeed, it is. It is beautiful sunshine, but don't let that sun fool you today. I'm telling you, with that strong wind that we got going on today, my goodness, that wind is strong. <clears throat> it's like gusting up to 40 mile an hour yesterday and this morning, and it's still gusting like that. <clears throat> In 300 feet, turn right on. Right Robbins Boulevard. Good thing I'm is, four, and then take the exit <clears throat> to the right in 750 feet. Now we got sunshine, and the wind is coming out of the north northwest. So I'll be sort of in going east, take the entrance to the right northeast. Right so we'll pretty south much be coming from south. behind me most of the times. That's what it sounds like right now might come from the side a little bit every once in a while but shouldn't be too bad right wow <clears throat> that van that's parked beside uh, driving beside me here has got a completely rusted roof look at that uh, i don't know <laughs> that must be a fairly old van already but but yeah, here we go. Let's get back on the road. Enjoy that beautiful sunshine that we got. Because I was looking at the radar and uh, when I first got up this morning, there was a mix of rain, snow, and, and ice and all of that mixture stuff going up there by uh, Gary, Indiana. And... Uh, I mean, yeah, I got about four and a half hours up to Gary, Indiana. Probably around that. But, uh... Continue on this road for 14 miles. Oh, come on. Yes, the transmission is a little bit cool. It don't want to shift properly yet. I had it idle for a half an hour already, so it should be all right. But... But yeah, so uh, I figured since I only have about five and a half hours uh, of on-duty time that I can have today, I figured then I'll just uh, relax a little bit and did a little editing this morning on my videos for you guys. All that good stuff, so uh, now we're going to put the hammer down and get down to I-80 go down I-80 and then uh, I don't know I might stop there at Iowa 80 haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to or not but I might I might go ahead and do that show you guys a little bit and I think the museum is supposed to be open on a weekend so you know what I might actually go in there and go uh, go to the museum and show you guys a little bit the museum that would be kind of nice <clears throat> go in there and show you a whole bunch of cars and old trucks and all that stuff I think that would be interesting give me something to do so that way I waste a little bit more time over here and so that way the whole system will be moved out of there by the time I get down there, right? Be all cleared up. Uh oh, there's a four-wheeler making an illegal U-turn right there. Yeah, he's not allowed to make a U-turn up there. He just did. Oh well. Alright guys, I told you we were going to make a pit stop here in uh, Iowa 80. Look at this Coca-Cola truck over here. Yeah, look at that. A yellow Coca-Cola truck. They got lots of Coke up there. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. An old type of style paintbrush up there. Eh? Wow. That's interesting. 
Yeah, another old GMC up here. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I know somebody that was down here the other day. And in a trucker jukebox. Yes, he was. Look at this old wagon over here. Another old classic over here. Well, look at them wheels, eh? They're very interesting. That is an old paint job. That's for sure. But yeah, we're going to go for a good walk in here and show you guys all kinds of goodies in here. So let's come with me into the real show up here. Yeah, look at that. They got a Kenworth over there. We got to go through this door and go inside of here. Yes, indeed. Wow. There's like almost nobody in here today. That's a very nice... I think this one almost looks like it was at the truck show in... Uh, in uh, Louisville, I believe. Yeah, so let's go look at this dozer over here. Yeah, they got all kinds of very interesting cars. I think they said they got 92 cars. Look at that old dozer. That looks like a steam engine. That almost does look like a steam engine. Hmm. Wonder what kind of engine they got in this one here. Yeah. Wow, look at them lights. Those are weird kind of lights. That's for sure. We're going to get to see all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. So, let's go, let's go for a good walk, guys. What do you guys think? Good idea or what? Man, this is a big, big warehouse. Wow. There's another old classic one over here. Huh. I wonder what that rod is for in the back there must be just to support it a little bit better hmm. even got a little tank up there look at that <laughs> yeah oh wow I've never seen this one before it's got snowshoes on the front there they customized it for running in winter and snow they got chains in the back there U.S. mail. I may do mail runs with that probably. Old white one. Oh, I remember those ones back in the day. They had this handle there on the front. And that's how you start it. Yes, indeed. Oh, that one is the same way. Yeah. Oh, there's an old classic uh, lifting system here with cables. Wow. <laughs> they had form tractor wheels on here. <laughs> yeah, well, there is a lot of cars out here. I don't know if we're going to be able to show you every single one of them, but we're going to do our best. Want to walk through here? Yeah, we got to walk through this here. Look at that old international up here. Yeah, look at them big lights that they had back in the old days, eh? Trying to look at the brakes over there. Those are completely different brake pods than we we're used to. That's for sure. Yeah, look at this. This is the old type of style, Indian style uh, boogie wheels that that I remember back in Bolivia. My my parents actually had a wagon like that at one point. And on the other side here, you guys can see them trucks over there. Yeah, look at that. An old classic Freightliner. <laughs> I'm wondering what is this? What does this little thing do up here? Must be some kind of lever for, I don't know, for the cooling system maybe. But yeah, that's really interesting. What is this? Diamond T, Diamond T over here. You can read some stuff on it. 250 horsepower. 1911 Diamond. Wow. That's an interesting truck, isn't it? It's even got the old classic trailer to it. Yeah. Anyways, let's go see it. some more old trucks and vehicles, right? Yeah. Look at this one here. It's got an old classic horn over there. <laughs> That's what this stick is really good for. You can actually see stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. This old truck has still got a handle like that to start it back in the day eh? wow the fort wheel drive four wheel drive 
Auto Cool. Wow. That is a really old classic one. Yeah, look at this. There's another diamond. 1959 model. Huh, looks like a cattle hauler. Wow, let's see if we can see inside of there. I doubt it. I doubt you're gonna be able to see too much in there, but I'll give it a shot anyways, right? All right, guys, let's continue on with our journey. Let's go through this a little bit and show you some more goodies here. Yeah, look at this type of tire over here. Talk about real studs in there. <laughs> that must be really nice for in the old days driving in winter, eh? Those are even wooden wheels there. Look at that. Wow. They had really weird type of cars, eh? The driver's sitting over here on this side <laughs> with the pedals, and that's where the passenger can sit on this side. <laughs> but it almost looks like it is a some kind of form form tractor or something. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Really interesting. Yeah. They even got an old motor over here, it looks like. Oh, look at them lights. They're not even round. That's weird. <laughs> General Motors truck right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. This, I guess, is the old classic type of uh, fifth wheel that they used to have over here. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Yeah. That's what that looks like to me. An old classic fifth wheel. But this is what I was talking about. They got an actual engine over here. I wonder what kind of engine it is. Huh. It's kind of hard to see what kind of engine it is, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see it from this side. It's got huh, not that much on this side, but it's definitely got the uh, spark plugs in it, that's for sure. I recognize that. Huh. Yeah, they definitely do have all kinds of classic vehicles in here, that's for sure. Yeah, we're gonna go continue on walking through here. And see what they got. We haven't even walked on the other side yet, and we're not all the way to the back yet either, so... We're gonna continue on. Yeah, old yellow one. Yeah. So, let's see. Hmm. That's an interesting grill that they got on there. Old Sammy truck in here. Oh, that looks like they got a newer Commons engine over here. Huh. Almost looks like a Commons. Yeah, Commons ISX. That's what I got in my truck. A red engine like that. That's for sure. Except mine isn't uh, a big engine, but they said the uh, making them from 385 horsepower all the way up to 600 horsepower that's what their what their rating are ratings are mine is the uh, 2000 2000 series that's the one that mine is but yeah anyways we'll go ahead and see some more trucks and vehicles cars and you name it mm-hmm those are the old type of wheels that they had rims yep mm-hmm yeah, they have redone a lot of these trucks, that's for sure. They said they got 92 vehicles in here at the moment. Well, that shows. <laughs> Look at them. Old classic. Wow, that is a high truck over there. <laughs> Can you imagine sleeping in an old Kenworth like that? That's a 102 inch whip. Looks like right there for the antenna. You see that? Yeah, that's the way they used to have them. Huh. Old GM. That red looks nice though. I would say. Wow. Yeah, look at them lights in the bottom there. Colorado Kenworth. Denver. That's what it says on there. I don't know if you can see that. That's what it says up there. 1958 Kenworth. That's what this one is. So, let's see what they got over here. Ooh, there's a nice classic European truck over there on that side. I'm going to go see that one in a little bit, but yeah, we got to see all of these trucks, right? 
I think I'm gonna snap me a picture of that one and tag a few European guys. I know they would probably love it. You can probably see it over there. That's a very nice, pretty truck, I would say. I would definitely say that's a nice, nice little truck. So I'm gonna cut it right now. We'll go in there and uh, we'll get a few pictures taken. Now we are here on the other side. We're looking at this old Ford 9000 series up here. And this is the actual truck that I came to show you guys. Wow, look at the paint job, all the stickers that it's got on there. Well, if you think it's got a few stickers on this side, look at the front. Wow, look at that front over there, man. They got all kinds of pictures and decals and lights on there. Look at that, all the lights alongside the bumper up there, all the way on the bottom there. I guarantee you that truck would look really nice <coughs> in the dark. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. That would look awesome at night. I guarantee you that. Look at it from this side. Man, climbing up on the side there. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's look at an old Dodge over here. Yeah. Wow. 361 V2 Dodge gasoline, 178 horsepower engine. New process five speed transmission, top 60 mile an hour. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Hmm. Man, they got all kinds of, oh, this is an old Ford V8. I remember that style. Yeah. Back in South America, they had those types. There's a super white something there. I don't know what that last one, there's a Mustang. Oh yeah, super white Mustang. Nice. Now this is the old style Mustang. <laughs> no, that's just a joke. But yeah, oh, they even got a bus up here, eh? tourist bus cruise yeah can you imagine riding a bus like that back in the day no that isn't the bus that must be some kind of transport S transport something there yeah huh back in the day man they had all kinds of ideas right i mean why not right there's an old mac over here yeah mac trucks are very beautiful too Nice paint jobs on them. Very nice to look at. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just walking through here and showing you guys all the beautiful trucks that they got here. There's another diamond over there. Yeah. They got so many vehicles in here. This one has probably never really been restored, it looks like. That is an old, old truck, that's for sure. Let's see here. 27 horsepower, 1942. It was built to be a heavy duty work truck. <laughs> wow. That was back in the day. That's all they had, right? Now, your young kids out here these days think we got, we got nothing really yet, right? And look at the old days, how we had to deal with everything eh? Huh, this one is carrying a little cat I don't know if it's a cat but a little bulldozer or something there in the back huh yeah they really do have some very nice classic trucks over here that is for sure well that's a really long nose auto car diesel yeah I've seen one of them there at the at the truck show but it wasn't a little different than this one is. There is an old Kenward. Kenward has always had like little style like that, doesn't it? Look like with the long nose like that. Big nose like that, you know. Which makes it look nice. Yes, indeed it does. Yeah, this is an old police car. It looks like a British type of police car. <laughs> they only had like one red light over there. <laughs> wow. That's an interesting police car, wouldn't you say? Oh, there's another 102-inch whip on there. 
for the radios that they used. Huh, I wonder what kind of car this is. Huh, Cleveland Police Department. That's what it looks like. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Wow. Oh, there is a military. Volvo. No, Mercedes, I meant. Mercedes stamp on there. Yeah, what do we got over here? Wow. Now, this is how they... They did it back in the old day. All with belts. Different sizes of police and stuff like that. And that's how they made it into being more powerful they had a big pulley like that and then it all transitions into different type of sizes of pulleys and that's how they can get more power out of a small horsepower machine you know because it's done with a big pulley and it translates into great power that's for sure look at that small engine that you see in that truck hey eh? <laughs> That's definitely seeing better days, that's for sure. That's, I guarantee you. But yeah, man, they do definitely have a different variety of trucks and vehicles in here. Now, I don't know where they got this one from. Walk, walker, walker, some kind of walker type of truck or something. Huh, never seen one like this, I guarantee you that. Hmm. Wow. They definitely have some old vehicles in here. Yeah. They probably been sitting somewhere for a long time. That's for sure. Hey, yeah. Look at that engine inside of there. <laughs> wow. Look at the few amount of cables that they got compared to nowadays. Eh? Look at that. Just a few cables there. And that's all it took back in the day to operate these vehicles, hey? And nowadays they're so computerized and man, it's like <laughs> hard to even imagine how they can operate these days with all the computers and wires and everything on there, right? But yeah, there is another. That's a beautiful paint job on that Mac, eh? Hey? Wouldn't you think? Wow, that looks, that looks sharp. That looks really sharp on that. On that Mac. This color looks pretty nice too. Green with yellow like that. That's pretty good color too, I would say. But anyways, I think we're gonna get out of here in a little bit. We'll probably go around and take some pictures and then we'll get out of here. It is now time to leave this truck stop. Yeah, the museum is right over there in that big building up there. To the right and here to the left is the actual truck stop. And this is the largest truck stop in the world, according to them. A thousand trucks apparently can park in here, that's what they say. But anyways, I just figured I would show you that museum. I have never been lucky enough to have it being open so far. This was the luckiest day in my life, I guess. Because uh, for the longest time, it was never open on the weekend. So now they are finally open on the weekend, 9 to 5 on the Saturday at least. I don't know what time they're open on Sunday, but uh, Saturday it's 9 to 5. A quarter mile. Take the entrance to the left so the I said, that's US perfect, man. I could uh, definitely not complain about that, that's for sure. And hey, we gotta get our other, other four hours worth of driving exactly behind us yet. It's exactly one hour up to here, US so we should have another four hours, four hours to go to the truck stop that we would like to stop at. Oh, we might decide to stop earlier. Who knows? I mean, it's already 12:30 in the afternoon right now, so. I might, by the time I get to Gary, Indiana, just say, I'm, st I'm done, I'm stopping, you know? So I might just do that. But yeah, now you can see the truck stop a little bit better there to the left. 
Yes, indeed. They got a truck wash shop. I mean, scale. You just name it. Just about anything you can think of, they got in there. Chrome, like you wouldn't believe how much chrome they got in there. We didn't really go into the truck stop with the camera today. I mean, I did bring the camera, but I mean, I shown that you guys to you guys before. No, I do know we've got quite a few new subscribers since I've shown it, but if you really want to see it, go down in my ar archive and go down in my uh, my past videos and you'll see one in there saying talking about Iowa 80 and you'll see me in there. So you can go look for that and go watch the actual truck stop one there. But, but yeah, we did uh, show you the museum today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that little video. I hope I was able to put it together nicely for you. Construction ahead. Hopefully it's interesting. So now let's continue on with our journey. Let's make our way towards uh, Chicago and see where we will end up stopping for today. I have had me a very good night's sleep guys. Yes indeed, and we didn't make it to that exit 12 like we said we wanted to. So that is awesome news. We put in 50 gallons worth of fuel over here, so we were able to go ahead and take us a shower over here. So that's very nice, and uh, yeah, so we got us about five hours worth of driving in there yesterday, so that was nice. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> But I also really enjoyed going to that museum there in Iowa 80. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that as well. Probably a little different than what my most videos are about. But uh, that's what trucking is all about. Looking back at the history and you know, honoring all of those that have been driving for all of us. You know, I mean it's not just me driving there's millions of drivers out there in the world and you know they're sacrificing their life like I said the other day <sighs> you know like uh, we're out here on the road and if something happens at home you know you're a thousand two thousand miles away from home and that's considering sacrificing your life for for the country you know in my opinion but uh, anyways we had us a good day yesterday. We relaxed and all that good stuff. So appreciate you guys watching this vlog. We'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy.